Mobile Delegates. I'm Ashley Esqueda, and you are watching the Mobile Nations Monday Brief from Las Vegas, Nevada. We are here for CES, the biggest nerd convention in the world. It's going to be amazing, but we actually have the whole team of Mobile Nations. We've got a whole bunch of Mobile Nations editors here. I'm going to walk around, talk to them, and find out what they're looking forward to this year at CES 2013. Now, first off, we have Renee Ritchie <laughs> at iMore who is not feeling very well. Too many iPhone cases. <laughs> He's sickened. You're not supposed to eat them. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to eat the cases, Renee. It's bad for you. No, Apple's not here, so I'm taking a vacation. Okay, well, that's nice. You get a vacation over in, in Vegas. Phil Nickinson, Android Central, I'm sorry for blinding you. Uh, what are you looking forward to the most? Is there anything that you've... Any scoops you want to give us? We're done. NVIDIA uh, dropped Project Shield and Tegra 4 on us tonight, so we're working on that till sun comes up and that's probably what the biggest news of the week for us most likely awesome your future is so bright you have to wear shades <laughs> yeah no uh I, at ces i'm looking at uh, apps mostly you know it's a uh, it's a big device show but i'm gonna see if i can find some good games other kinds of apps but uh there's a big at t developer day that i'm gonna spend a lot of time in there so that should be cool andrew with one n uh, yeah, I know. What right? are you looking for at CES this year? What are you looking either forward to? You or? don't have to look far to find stuff running Android, uh, whether it's washers like we're going to see. <laughs> washers and dryers that will tweet at your refrigerator that will then tweet at your phone <laughs> and then at your tablet. Skynet is exactly. here. It's turning into the network of things. Excellent. Home connectivity. Yeah, seriously. Alex Doby. I am looking for the Sony Xperia Z. Um, that looks like a really, really cool phone from Sony. And Sony's one of the few companies that actually has their big new flagship um, at, at CES. So we're going to see that tomorrow. Big 5-inch phone, 1080p screen. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be beautiful. A competitor to the DNA, if you will. Aha, is it the Z one. or the Z? Uh, it is, well, I, I'm going to say it's the Z. Yeah. The Z. <laughs> All right. Andrew, two ends. I figured since we were in Vegas, maybe we'd see some Android-powered slot machines, but... Maybe something nice at the AT&T. Too easily rooted. <laughs> at t Developer well, Conference tomorrow. Rooted. Should see some uh, interesting devices or apps or developments or something. Some of awesome. Them are there. Awesome. You don't matter. Uh, no, <laughs> so Craft true. Fairy, Kevin. I just care about January 30th, 2013, and I want my... I know, it doesn't phone even... It, I mean, CES doesn't even matter to you. It's, not, not so much, but I mean, there might be some BlackBerry content this week, so definitely stay tuned, which means, obviously, I'm saying, yes, there's going to be BlackBerry stuff this week, but we can't talk about it until, like, Tuesday, so... And I'm going to walk around Vegas just trying to rack up fuel points here, because I like my little fuel ban. Oh, it, I hit my goal yesterday, but I guess it's after midnight, so... It is, in fact, after midnight. But I'd like to so hit, like, 20,000 points on it. That's and, too many. Um, maybe 5,000, 10. I don't know. Um, yeah. Too much. When are you going to cut your hair? Never. Ugh, never. Chicks love it. Chicks dig it. Derek Kessler. Hi. WebOSNation.com. Hey. How, are, how excited are you to see WebOS products this year at CES? I am so What can we pumped. expect? It's... There's going to be the WebOS washing machine, and it's going to tweet at your WebOS dryer. And why is Kevin throwing phones at me? I can see you in the mirror throwing it's things at Derek. Phones. It's raining phones. Uh, yeah, we're not going to see anything WebOS at CES this year. Uh, I don't know when we're going to see anything WebOS. In the meantime, I'm going to hit the show floor and check out all of the cool, crazy, whack, crack, wow, words. <laughs> it's he, late. You're going to cool, be gambling. Crazy, That's... wacky things that are going on on the CES show floor. You will be gambling. That is actually what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Allie. Allie from Imor. Uh, Lots of cases happening, but is there anything else that you might be interested in? Um, last year we saw a sickening amount of cases. I kind of want to see what there, there's there's not very many accessories besides cases that are compatible with lightning ports, so it'd be kind of nice to see docks or, you know, what people are going to do with the new adapters and, you know, have no dock for my iPhone, iPhone 5. iPhone 5 cases! <laughs> <laughs> Instead of iPhone 4 for yeah. us. And oh, Danny. Pebble Watch, Pebble Watch. Oh, yeah, the it's Pebble. The Pebble's going to be happening. That's on a Tuesday. That'll be exciting. Danny. Yes. Danny Rubino. <laughs> Windows Phone 8 stuff, uh, maybe Samsung and the Verizon Odyssey. 
might show up here, but maybe not to CTIA. And Nokia is going to be here with a limited uh, presence as well, and some Windows Phone team members are here. So we may get a few announcements. Huawei also expected with the Ascend W1 should be here. And who knows, maybe accessories too. We've never had traditionally a lot of accessories at this conference, but maybe this year we'll get some cool stuff, especially for the new Lumia 920 and the, uh, the 820. So we'll see. We might be quiet, but maybe not. There may be some small surprises. Well, we like surprises here at Mobile Nations, except for Renee. <laughs> <laughs> But we will be keep all of these people, all of these people are going to be keeping you up to date, up to the minute updates on the show floor, at the press conferences, everything in, everything you can. Setting the bar can, a little high, don't over promise. Don't over promise. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. This Let me under promise and over deliver. Yeah. You guys, we might have some content for you this week. <laughs> the sites, we'll try to keep them up. We will try our best to keep them online. And if we don't, then. Because um, we're getting crushed with traffic. It's, yeah, totally because we're getting crushed with traffic. But uh, these people are going to be working their took us off to bring you the best content ever. So can I get um, a Nations You Have Been Brief salute from everybody? Because can you give us a demo first? Though? I give a, the really bad here. I'll do it over here in the mirror. So here it's Nations You Have Been Briefed. And then you do this and then you jiggle your boobs. So that's how you do it. Yeah, then we can do that. I can do this. <laughs> Phil's I'll, like, I'll I am not taking steps. part in this. <laughs> Phil Nickinson is far too classy for this. <laughs> All right, nations, you have been briefed. That was horrible. <laughs>